This email contains a few attachments. Without even downloading them, they are automatically saved into specific folders on my OneDrive. This Power Automate flow has saved me a ton of time and has streamlined my daily workflow. If you want to learn how to create this flow, keep watching. If you aren't familiar with Power Automate, you need to jump on it. Start creating automations today so that you can get more time back in your day from doing redundant tasks. This video is going to cover how to automatically save email attachments into specific folders on your OneDrive. However, you can adjust the flow so that your attachments are saved onto any SharePoint site as well. We'll start off with a basic flow and build on top of that. Timestamps are listed in the description box below. Pick the flow that is right for you. Good, better, or best. First, create an automated cloud flow. Give your flow a descriptive name so you can find it later. Flow names are searchable, so make it a memorable one. This flow is going to be triggered whenever a new email arrives. Select the version 3 one. You can specify which folder you'd like the automation to check. I'm going to leave it as the inbox. Click on show advanced options. We only want this flow to look at emails that have attachments. Change this to yes. If you'd like to specify the importance of the email, you can do that here. I'm going to leave it as the default. Next, search for the apply to each action. We want this flow to go through each attachment in every email that comes in. Search for attachments. We'll need to get the contents of the attachments. For that, we'll need the get attachments v2 action. Grab the message ID and the attachments ID. Technically, we're not downloading and saving the file directly from the email, but we're going to use the create file action from OneDrive. This will take the contents of the attachment from the previous action and create a new file in the location we specify. I'm going to navigate to the folder I want to create this file in. For this flow, we're going to use the good flow email attachments folder. We're going to keep this really simple and grab the original attachment name from the get attachment v2 action. The content bytes from the get attachment v2 action will go here. Let's test out our flow. One important thing to note is that if you receive a file with the same name, it will overwrite the existing file with a new one. You can of course adjust your flow to account for this. However, we're not going to cover that in this particular video. I've just received an email that has a single attachment here. In Power Automate, you can see that the flow was successful. In OneDrive, I'm going to navigate to the folder and you can see that my attachment file has been created here. For this flow, I'd like to save my external email attachments into a different folder from my internal email attachments. I'm going to create a new automated cloud flow. We're going to use the same trigger as the previous flow. Click on Show Advanced Options, and we'll set it to look at emails that have attachments and leave the importance as the default. In flows where I use conditions, I like to use variables to help me troubleshoot if something goes wrong. All variables must be initialized at the top level. I'll initialize a variable to hold the from email address. I'm going to rename the action to keep things organized. And change the type to string. Insert a condition action. And we're going to check whether or not the incoming email is coming from a specific domain. Insert the variable here and select ends with. Insert the domain here. Do not include the at symbol. Add and apply to each action, then search for attachments. If the variable ends with the specified domain, I'd like the email attachment to be saved into the internal folder. First, we need to add a get attachments action, just like we did in the first flow. I'm also going to rename it. For any internal emails, I want the emails to be saved into the internal folder. I'm going to add a create file action. I'll rename that. And then I'll navigate to the internal folder. We're going to grab the attachment name from the previous action and the content bytes. On the no side, I'm going to do the same thing, except I'm going to save the attachment into the external folder. I'm going to navigate to the external folder and add the attachment name and the file contents from the previous action. Let's review the flow before we test it. The flow is triggered by any incoming emails with attachments. 
I've initialized a variable here to store the sender's email address. I'm then checking that variable to see if it ends with a specific domain. Any email attachments in an email from the specified domain will be created in the internal folder. Email attachments in an email from all other domains will be created in the external folder. Let's give that a go. I have sent myself two emails, one from an internal email account and another from an external email account. In Power Automate, you can see that the flow has run twice. There is an internal email that has two attachments and an external email that has two attachments. In my OneDrive, I'm going to go into the Better Flow folder and you can see I have two items in my external folder and two in my internal. To create the best flow, you'll have to do a bit of pre-planning. Let's say you receive attachments like invoices, schedules, reports on a regular basis and from specific email addresses. You can use that information to create a more customized flow. It may take a bit longer to create up front, but trust me when I say that it'll save you a ton of time in the long run. I'll start this flow just like the last two flows. It'll look at the inbox and only run for emails that contain attachments. I've initialized variables for the sender's email address and the attachment name. Remember that variables have to be initialized at the top level. You can't initialize them in an apply to each action. I can set the from variable up here, but the attachment variable will need to be set within the apply to each action. We're going to loop through the attachments just like our previous flow as well as get the attachments. Click on the three dots and click on settings. Enable the concurrency control so that we can parse multiple attachments at once. I'm going to leave the default value, but you can change this to suit your flow. I'm going to set the variable attachment name here. To avoid any case sensitivity issues when I check for specific words in the attachment name, I'm going to convert the attachment name text to lowercase. For that, we'll need an expression. Search for to lower. We're going to insert the attachment name. For my invoices, I'm going to use a condition to see if the attachment name contains a few keywords. I'll insert the attachment name variable here, and I'm going to search for either receipt or invoice. Because I want to see if the attachment name contains invoice or receipt, I'll want to set this to an or condition. If I leave it as and, the attachment name would have to contain both words. If the condition is satisfied, meaning that the attachment name contains the word invoice or receipt, the attachment will be created in the invoices folder. For the file name, I'll insert the name from the get attachments action and the content bytes for the file content. If the condition is not satisfied, I'd like it to check for something else. Let's say that the schedules I receive are always Excel files with the word schedule in the file name. I'm going to add a condition to check for both those things. Because I want the attachment to contain both the word schedule and have the Excel file name extension, I'm going to leave this as an AND condition. If the condition is satisfied, the attachment will be created in the schedules folder. If the condition is not satisfied, I'd like to check for reports. Let's say that the reports come from a specific domain. I'm going to use a condition to check that the attachment name contains the word report and that the sender's email address contains a specific domain. If the condition is satisfied, the attachment file will be created in the reports folder. If none of the conditions are met, meaning the attachment is not an invoice, schedule, or report, I'd like the flow to create the attachment file in the internal or external folder as we did in the previous flow. All right, our flow is ready to be tested. An email has come in with six attachments. There are a few PDFs, a Word doc, and a couple of Excel files. A few of these attachments meet the conditions set in our flow, and the others do not. In Power Automate, we can see that the flow succeeded and it took a total of six seconds. In my OneDrive, you can see that all six attachments have been saved into specific folders. The three attachments that did not meet any of the conditions set in the flow have been saved into the internal folder. The invoice is saved into the invoice folder, the report is saved into the reports folder, and the schedule has been saved into the schedule folder. You may need to tweak these flows a bit to match the criteria of the email attachments you receive. Would you use a flow like this? What other flows are you looking to build? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.